you're the favorite going into the race with the roster that you have with you and I, I wouldn't go to school one. Um, I don't know what everybody else is going to do. The Loyola's won the league two years in a row. Bradley won the tournament. You and I is always there. Drake is really good. Everybody's good, I guess, but I haven't thought about a poll. But, but when I do vote, I don't think I'll, I'll go to school one. I don't, I, it's just, why not? I mean, you know. We got to kick that door down. I mean, we, we haven't won the league since, I guess, 2012. He was uh, just got people that have won it since we have multiple times. Until we kick that down, I have a hard time voting for someone to do something if they haven't done. You know who you would vote number one? Loyola. Two Do you feel like the favorites? I mean. See the talent around you. Do you feel like you guys can do something special this year? Uh, I feel I feel like we can do something special, but I'm going like coaches say. Uh, I'm not putting us like the first because we still got a lot of work to do until we go. This is the first time we've been able to talk to you since uh, declaring for the NBA draft on the bass. What did you learn from that? And what? Uh, so we had a bunch of meetings. Uh, also, I grew with my coach. And we talked about it, come back to college, and we want knowledge. And also, we with the group as well. And um, I feel like coming back to college is going to be you be ready to be where I want to go, and also um, I want to come back and help my team, whatever we need to. You see the guys, in the, you guys have more in the front court around you right now. Just kind of play a little bit of a position last year. Just how much have you enjoyed for you going back to what you need, what you need better? Uh, it feels good because last year I had to play the five a lot of time, which I don't, I don't mind. But uh, right now, I feel like we got a good team. We got a great team, and right now we're just getting the game and working and be better. How is that working, Dana, with Gage and Lamont and Tulio? You know, or have you tried to play all three of them, or just kind of Tulio and one of the other two? When we start practice today. We will play them all together this year a lot. Um, I think it'll work fine. I think that's why I get paid to figure out how to get the best players on the floor and do some different things maybe when we play smaller opponents. But, but those three guys will play on the floor a lot together. They wouldn't be very smart now to sit sitting, sitting by me. Why is Tulio better at the, at the floor? Why is that more his natural position? Yeah, we, it's, not, it's not really about numbers. It's just about where we can put him on the floor. And, and Tulio, his, his, his mobility is one of his greatest strengths, his athleticism. And um, we limit him when we just stick him around basket. And uh, we get him out on the perimeter, whether it be screening for others, moving so fast that defense can't keep up, whether it be crashing offense and glass, whether it be catch, rip, and drive in, knocking down an open shot. It's just a very mobile player. And, be able to let him use his athleticism. We, we just limit that when we just stick him around the basket. So he'll, he'll get some time down there too, but he'll get some time on the perimeter too. You know, what's the really biggest adjustment when you get guys who just come here for one year? Um, obviously, they got to fit in right away. There's kind of a less uh, timetable. Tough, tough adjustments that can be for. Uh, yeah. we, we run a pretty simple program, um, so I think that that helps. But Lamont, guys like Lamont, they they they've, they've been through the through the rigors, through the wars. I mean, they, they pretty much have the answers to the test. I think just fitting them in becomes the, the challenge. But you know, for us, um, this year's team has a lot of new faces, so it's not like it's going to stick out for him. I mean, we we've got guys that are sitting out. We've got freshmen that are going to play. So this year. It, it's not like he'll be just just the only new guy, so I think that will help him as well. Tulio, what have you liked about Gage and Lamont so far? I like them. Uh, Gage, I like Gage. He got great at the age, like, um, all the time in the gym, working his game. Lamont as well. I like them. DeAndre, just uh, coach has kind of touched on your improvement throughout the summer. Just how you kind of yeah, exactly. you, you improve it. Uh, I think my improvement uh, on the court and off the court, uh, I'm getting stronger. 
the struggle is you working on everything and getting better each day. I see you on social media. You're at the gym about midnight. It's really late. How often are you in there? And you're with Isaiah too? Yeah, yeah uh, I always bring Isaiah to the gym with me. Uh, you know, freshman, I'm trying to show him the way how childish it is and stuff like that. Why have you taken that on yourself? Uh, I'm a leader on the team, I'm a senior, yeah, incoming freshman. I uh, think he can be a really good player. And so what have you kind of seen of him so far? Oh, he got a great work ethic. Uh, he's willing to learn things on the court and off the court. What do you like about this team the most? It's good to see you get better. Uh, I like that we got uh, a lot of good players on the team, a lot of new faces. Uh, we've been gelling together this summer. We had a good summer and we're trying to have a good season. Has the competition been uh, significantly different in practice during the summer? Yeah, I think it's been practice because we have uh, a lot of new guys and guys that sat out last year that can play. So we have like more players that's going to play this year. Coach, you guys lost a few leaders, so senior leadership. All three of those were lost last year. Who have you kind of seen to step up? Early hours in the morning, who else have you got to coach? Both these guys sitting here have become better leaders for sure. Um, you know, Tyreek Dixon, point guard, he's been through, been through the wars. He's so starting to step up a little bit as a leader. Uh, Lamont West, just because he's so, so much older, yes, he's a leader. Um, but but I've, I've, been, I've been pleasantly surprised and pleased with when you guys stepped into that leadership role. In fact, I thought that would probably be one of our biggest concerns going into the years who are going to be the leaders, but this fall, the guys have been tremendous. So I, I, I just anticipate that to, to, to continue. Uh, we, we've talked uh, about Tulio. You, you said in the past he could be even better. Have you seen him taking those steps so far and what he's learned since declaring for the draft? Yeah, I mean, I think all of our guys have made improvements, and Tulio is definitely one of them. Uh, and continue to make improvements. And you know, a lot of that is just putting him in the right position to be able to do everything that he can do. And I think this year we'll have a little bit more flexibility with that. And I think that alone makes him a better player. Uh, but, but he's also been in the gym, you know, working on his shot um, and you know, working on some other things that we'd like to do as well. Coach, I was going to say, it's pretty clear that you know, the two leaders are coming back. You know, in terms of the offense, again, the first two options are very clear, but who are you looking to maybe emerge as that third option, at, uh, at least early in the season? I know there's a lot of newcomers, but are you looking for somebody in particular out of that group? Well, I mean, we've, we've got a pretty pretty um, balanced team. Um, obviously, these two guys can score the ball. Uh, Gage Prim, we, we'd, be, we'd be nuts not to give him the ball. Uh, Lamont West averaged 12 or 13, I think, in the Big 12. He, he'll probably try to stick it in the basket a couple times. Um, Isaiah Mosley's a good player. He's young. He's out there. He can probably score. Who, who else can score? Anybody else? Josh Hall. Hall. Josh Hall averaged 13 in the game in the NCAA tournament. He's 16. He can score. We'll, you know, we'll try to balance it out as much as possible. That, that, that's one of the things with this year's team that we won't, we won't have to do our, I don't think we'll have to do our three-man weave stall team as much this year in league play. Maybe outside of league because we're playing some of the best teams in the country. But once we get into league play, I think it'll be advantageous for us to play faster because we do have guys that can score. How nice to have a guy like Tyreek who doesn't need the score when you have all those scores. Too. Well, I mean, he's, he's actually worked on his scoring a lot. I and mean, I think he can be a good scorer when, when the time is right. But it's also good having having a guy like Tyreek that understands getting the ball where it needs to be. But um, he'll have to he'll have to run the show. But but he'll have to score too. I mean, you know, you're dangerous when you're when your point guard can score. You know, I was talking to one of our coaches yesterday. The two teams that played for the league championship. Both of them have scoring point guards, uh, Brown and Green. And it just makes you such a better team. So if Tyreek continues to develop his scoring, then, then yeah, we could probably have a pretty good team. I imagine you've been able to work out with Ford a little bit, a couple hours since he came. Uh, what have you liked about his game and how it fits in with your team? He's really coachable. Um, 
he's going to have the opportunity to, to learn from some pretty experienced guards. Um, Tyree, Keandre, Josh, um, some, some guys that can, you know, bang him around a little bit. He's got good size and he's, he's a great kid. And uh, right now he just wants to do what coach asked him to do. And so that, that's really going to help our team. Uh, he still has some areas to grow. Uh, he's supposed to be in high school right now. And he's playing against guys that are supposed to be graduating. We have a lot of red shirt junior, red shirt sophomore, red shirt senior. So, so uh, he, he's holding his own. And uh, he, he's a guy who will continue to get better throughout the year. And, and hopefully come February, March, could, could give us a little something added on throughout the, you know, the, the grind of the season. Yeah, I think I heard you say, uh, talk about the one and done on the other end of yeah. uh, schools like the Valley, and obviously. Is that something you think you're going to kind of explore every year, just kind of make one or two guys like that? Every year. I, I think uh, definitely one uh, in a perfect world, two. We, we had two this year. One of our guys decided to, to retire. but. To me, it just makes sense uh, at our level. We're, we're not going to get the one and done that uh, you know, the, the power fives get, but we, we would be crazy not to take the one and dones of a Lamont West, Josh Webster, whoever the case may be. And, uh, we, we're going to try to be in that market um, as long as you know it's, it's out there, which I don't think that one's going anywhere. When you graduate, they're going to let you play right away. So uh, we, we do it everyone. We do. What, what, what the big boys do to our roster, and we have a good freshman, they compile these lists and lose good so they can take them from us. So the same thing I do. When I see someone as a redshirt junior on their team, I compile my list in my office, and if someone averages nine or 10 a game for them, then I'll tell them to come average 20 for me. So that's basically where we are. Can you tell us, uh, Lamont West, did you have an in with him, or did you kind of have to get in touch with him late? How did he come to your team? Well, we, I think our staff recruited him. Members of our staff recruited him when he was in high school. And so he was wanting to have a bigger impact. Brian he Moore reached out. Here. Uh, we said yes. Missouri State was picked to win the Valley just two years ago. The roster is completely different than what it was right now. Just how nice is it to have that? Have it, there's a few guys that were there. Just to say, it doesn't mean anything. Or who gets to move on to the players. Well, I mean, it's you know, it's more so about what I'm saying to you and those other guys. And if this group's picked to win it, which it would surprise me, but if they are picked to win it, the outside expectations they they fail compared to mine for these guys. Okay, and, and um, they they know what I expect from them, and it's got nothing to do with the preseason ranking. But um, I don't think that those preseason things will be. Be that hard for our guys. I mean, last year they they picked us, I guess eighth or something. I don't know. We finished higher than that. I think they picked Drake ninth. They finished higher than that. They picked some schools up by the top. They finished lower. These guys there, they know that those things don't mean very much. With all due respect. Now, if you start getting picked first ten years in a row, like Alabama football, then yeah, it means something because that means you're really, really good. But you're picked once every three years, every five years. Just do uh, you tell me your expectations are? Just do their best every day. Don't sacrifice their gift. That's about it. Yeah, Andrew, how much do guys like you and Tulio have to make a sacrifice a little bit of your role on the team with, with these new guys coming in? Uh, we was here last year. Uh, the new guys coming in, we just showing them uh, how like NBC play is, and, uh, the things they will need to do. And everybody just play their role. Basically. Is that easy to do, or is it going to be difficult? Uh, it's a work in progress. I mean, it's not no, nothing going to be easy. Julio, did the NBA scouts challenge you to improve one area of your game to be a better prospect? I'm not saying that's your number one priority, but down the road. You know, did they tell you anything that would make you a better prospect in their eyes? Yeah, just improve my three point shot. Also, take better decisions. You know, along the basic stuff like that. So, how is that? How hard has that been with a new three point line this year? Um, uh, it's a little adjustment. I think uh, we've been working there all summer, so um, it's getting together. Did you work out anything? No. Kilo, what did you learn from the Valley? What was your big impression of the uh, There's a lot of physicality. Um, there's a lot of uh, competition as well. So 
Is it more physical than you thought it was coming in? Mm. Yes, yes, easily, very much, because I had to play the five, so it was a big adjustment for me.